WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Broach coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have a bit of a mixed bag out there. What that means, you got the Dow and the S&P trading lower, 156.7%, and then 10 points, about a quarter percent. NASDAQ 100 is up three tenths or 36 points. Semis are up four tenths or 11 points. Trainings are up 275. Russell's back seven. Uh, you've got gold trading down 18 bucks, 1813. That route in metals continues. Silver down 35 cents, one and six tenths percent. 2090 is the print there. Lights recruit is up a buck 20, 122.12. Is what she's printing at. That natural gas having a big move to the downside off fifteen percent, down a buck and a uh, oh, one and a, one and a quarter, yeah, down a buck and a quarter out there. And the thirty treasuries off almost one point. She's trading out at one thirty one twenty. What's all that mean? Well, first, actually, we've got the A to B equals C dependence. If we take a look at the equity future contracts out here, you've got the ES mini. It's made it to the 1.272 A to B equals CD. That means you need to be on a lookout for any kind of bullish reversal candle. Not likely to be today. But if you did get one, that would confirm a buy the D point pattern. Short of that, price should target the 1.618 expansion, 34.87. The NQ has made the one-to-one -one as well. So same rules apply. And unless a bullish reversal candle forms, then price should target its 1.272 expansion. That's in the 10,432 level. The Dow Equity Future contract, it is likely targeting 29,450. Of course, any bullish reversal candle there would confirm a buy the D point. The Russell 2000, it is tinkering with its May, I think it's May 12th, let me see here, May the uh, May the 12th swing point out there at 16.98. If price did close below 16.98.30, then we'd be looking to move down to the 15.64 level. If we take a look at spot volatility, she's trading above its 50-day exponents moving average. That's always a bearish directional signal for the S&P 500. The U.S. dollar index, strong like bull, trading above the top of its weekly profile. Of course, well, you know, it's a weekly profile, so where is it trading on Friday? But right now, price is above that level, and that's at the 104.80, so strong like bull. Gold is testing support, and that is the bottom of its daily profile to 1813.80. We're trading 1813.60. Silver is actually trading below right now, the bottom of its weekly profile, 21.03. You can see uh, Light Sweet Crew trading above the top of its profile. Natural Gas finding some potential support at a rising trend line. A 30 year Treasury looks like it wants to continue to move forward. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. And thanks so much for joining us. Take care. Sharpening your 